But I'm afraid we won't be serving any of that eggplant parmesan at our Brick Flicks event Wednesday night. But the event will have plenty of nutritional value for your soul. We'll be screening some of the short ethnographic documentaries produced at NYU's Center for Media, Culture, and History. And here to tell us more is its associate director, Professor Peggy Vale. Welcome back to VK Live. Hi, thanks. It's good to see you again. Thanks. She's brought some friends. Also with us, <laughs> the filmmakers behind two of the docs we'll see on Wednesday, Christine Mladic Jani will show us Living with Quechua, about a woman from Peru trying to revitalize her native culture right here in New York City. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Matthew Cusimano has made the love industry. <laughs> a look at how, you have to say it like that. It's not <laughs> even, the love industry. It's a look at how romance is changing in our social media age. Thanks for joining us as Thank well. You. So I'm gonna start with you, doctor. Hello. So you've got people from different disciplines using film as a vehicle. So did you just like tack up something in the hallway and said, hey, you study this. Do you want to make a movie? Like, what is the process like of recruiting these folks? Well, I, I think people would be very happy if we did it that way. It'd be a lot easier to get in. It's actually quite a competitive process okay. to get into our program. Um, and it's actually, we just celebrated the 30th year anniversary of the program in culture and media. And it started out in the anthropology department, but yeah. we actually work with cinema studies and comparative literature. Yeah. And so these other, and people from other disciplines that join the culture and media program um, they take a number of different courses, including this year-long ethnographic yeah. documentary filmmaking so course. So you were intersectional before that was yeah. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that way of putting it. Yeah. 30 years on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think what draws everybody together, though, is it's filmmaking through the anthropological lens in the sense of, um, you know, documentary and ethnographic film are, are pretty similar sounding. Yeah. Um, but actually, I think it's that the commitment to the communities that people are filming within and the ethics of filmmaking that potentially differentiate them slightly. Right. Um, and maybe the filmmakers can speak to that uh, more when they, when they talk about their films. So Christine, what drew you into this rigorous process to even compete to get a film made now? Well, um, I had a background in photography, okay. and then I started doing podcasting. So for me, it was kind of a logical next step to try yeah. to put, you know, audio it visual things voice. together. Yeah. yeah, and I really uh, liked the program because it wasn't just about learning how, like the 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 technical aspects of filmmaking, yeah. but also the the kind of the theoretical frameworks mm -hmm. that help you maybe make a more informed film. So uh, I had been doing some Quechua language outreach work in New York City for years and working with the woman who's in the film, right. Alvambia. She's a Quechua language activist here. And so we just kind of, you know, teamed up and I used the course as a as a kind of an excuse to <laughs> to try making this film with her. Right. And so it was a very collaborative process. It was great. Okay, so the Quechua language sent you down this rabbit hole and used the film as a vehicle. And I'm looking at you now, sir, the love industry. <laughs> yeah. So what brought you into this thing? You just got tender and decided there's a movie here? Well, it's interesting. Um, I have a background in narrative filmmaking, and then I went off to South America for over two years, and I came back, and having spent two years away from social media, mm -hmm. pretty much, um, someone- Which is a lifetime, right? You're which is a lifetime. You the game for two years. I, I came back to see a friend in Manhattan, never been to New York City before that, yeah. and come back in 2014, and she's like, there's a, a sex app now. <laughs> you push a button and sex happens. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is insane. And I look into Which it. Which is not how they bill it It's, it's not it's how it's advertised. I'm sure there are several, but. But this is how it was pitched to me. Right. And I'm like, so much has changed since maybe having signed up for OkCupid in 2008, 2009. Right. And now looking at it now, well, there's now a new way of, of, of looking at this process, this mediated love. So, mediated love, that's another yeah. topic. So we have, Segway. <laughs> right, we have someone who's a filmmaker and diving into a language that may be on the brink of being lost and a person who's concerned with new technology. So in the application process, do you try to curate and balance these things and see what comes out on the other end? 
I think that, um, well, that a lot of people come, you know, if they're coming from anthropology, they, te they, they will be going for the PhD. Gotcha. Uh, cinema studies, they might be going for PhD or a master's. Mm -hmm. um, and other departments, they might actually just be going for the master's. So we have s such a variety of where they're coming from. Yeah. But I think, um, you know, again, the, the glue that kind of holds it together are um, not just looking at other communities, filming about other communities, but one can film about one's own community as well. Mm -hmm. And so I think ethnographic filmmaking as a, as a genre has changed quite a lot over the years. There's a more diversity of people making the films, and yeah. they're also making films both about themselves and other communities in their own neighborhood, across the world, in the case of some of the, one of the films that we're showing. I would love to talk to yeah. you about how the gaze is different now, and you talked about the ethics of the matter, but before we talk about it, let's watch it. Let's uh, see a clip right now from the Quechua Project. Pero si no practicamos el quechua, se puede desaparecer. So we were just talking uh, while that was running about Quechua and where it is in the sort of hierarchy of languages, even in its native Peru, and then making that switch to a city like New York. Exactly. There's there's millions of people who speak Quechua all over the world, but you know the context where you you find yourself, you're going to find different pressures, right? Mm -hmm. To like um, kind of highlight certain right. languages or kind of you know push other ones behind. Um, so I think the challenges of immigrants here in, in, in the United States is it's even tougher to try to keep Quechua, you know, at the forefront of, uh, you have other challenges that, that you, you have. You beat over the head with mm -hmm. English, too. So yeah. you become English, Spanish, and then Quechua yeah. distant third. Yeah. Yeah. So All I right. tried to take a more hopeful look here at, at activism and the, the positive things people are doing. Okay, speaking of hopeful outlooks, let's get to the bon chicka bon bon. <laughs> the love industry. 10% of relationships that began in the last 10 years were formed by online dating. I relied on these sites and apps. I'm a wedding videographer, and one third of the couples that I film and edit originally met on a dating site. Yet, there is a similar industry that completely influences how my couples meet, the online dating industry. And as I discovered, I wasn't the only one constructing the intimate lives of complete strangers. Lisa Holmes' company is called Profile Polish. She's basically a profile ghostwriter. I don't know exactly why it is, but people trust me. It's just the white background that really kills it. Just a better view. If it's in the dating realm, it's like, are you qualified to be dating this person? If you're looking for women, take that shit down. This is strange for me, being on the other side of the camera, yeah. so, yeah. All right, it's informative and instructional, apparently. So there was a lot of research that went into making yeah, this film. Yeah, uh, so many apps I had to go through, so many dates. It was, it was for the research. So have you come out on the other side? I don't need to get all personal, but your project is called The Love. Project, yes. The yeah, the love industry. The love industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually um, interesting because there's like a capitalist model behind it, right? So it's from you know when people meet all the way through when they're getting married and beyond that. There's an industry that's associated with that. And in my end, you know, I've been working in the wedding industry uh, to supplement my income as a documentary yeah, filmmaker. Yeah. And then I meet people that are in the beginning of that. How do you get people to start dating? Um, and that's a whole industry and, and monetary system itself. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for shifting our heads and looking at that, because it's easy to just get caught up in the app of it and not see the forest for the individual tree in your hand. So this yeah. is the crux of these ethnographic films. In our last 20 seconds, pitch us. Tell us where we're going and what we're going to see. 
I think you, everybody needs to come to this because you're going to travel across the world. You're going to travel within Brooklyn, within Queens, New York City, um, and online. And I think to get all, to, to get just the array of communities that we're um, featuring in these films is really special. It's not just one place. You get to travel the world. <laughs> All right. That is Brick Flicks. It's going to be happening this Wednesday evening right out on the stoop. It's free 99. Come out and see these great shorts. Meet some people. Learn some things. Maybe you'll get into the love industry. Learn some Quechua. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be happening Wednesday night here at Brick. So thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it.